What's going on, everybody? This is Deep Butler, 72 Can't Stop God, coming to you with another video. I thought that uh, that that was the enemy that shut it off. I forgot to turn on the um, computer. I mean the video, but you know, City Hall is putting up an LGBT flag up. You know. You know, D is for the LGBT movement, transgender movement, that God is against. And I'm gonna stand for righteousness sake, I'm gonna stand for truth. No matter they like it or not, no matter they hear it or not. Because the word of God says that being a transgender is a sin. Understand? Where it says that, Deuteronomy 22 verse five says that no man should be wearing a woman's garment the woman should be wearing a man's garment because it's an abomination. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 30, 30 I mean verse 13 says that if a man lies with a man and has a woman kind, both of them are committed an abomination. They should be fully put to death. The blood should be on them, understand? And 18.22 says that y'all shall not lie with mankind as a woman kind. It is an abomination, understand? and see what's going on, that's Satan. He knows, he's mad because I'm speaking against that wicked fifth of the wickedness of homosexuality and transgender movement. Because see, a lot of them are confused. A lot of them have been hurt and you know, a lot of them thinking that they're gonna get pampered or sympathy. Now, when it comes to little children, I can understand the children because they don't know no better. If you're a grown, a grown woman, a grown man, you just get no sympathy from me because the Bible makes it very clear that Romans 1, you know, you done trampled on the God's truth. So God had given you over to a reprobate mind to do these things that are not convenient, understand? And he, and he gave you, uh, you know, give you over to a lustful hearts and uncleanness and the lustful hearts between themselves. Men with men. And I'm gonna say this, Ugh! women with women. Yeah, I said it, I, I said it. <laughs> you know, and uh, God would give them over to a violent fetches, even their women that exchange from a man that used for, for one another. You know what this is? Lesbian in this. Also, with the man leaving the natural use of a woman, burning in the lust towards one another, that's a sodom. Yeah. Two dudes is not normal. Two women together is not normal. Homosexual marriages, an abomination is never a marriage. You understand? So many so-called Christians are too scared to speak on this issue. Because why they want to get along and go along with the wicked world. Why the world and the handbag is going straight to hell. That's what scripture says. And that's right. I said it. For real. You know. Call it hate. You know, migrant or bigoted and homophobic and all of this foolishness, man. I'm preaching what the word of God says. The word of God says it's an abomination. I don't care if I tell it to that cop, to the judge. The judge will answer to a holy God too, as well as these wicked, these wicked uh, politicians that's going along with it. Understand these wicked lawyers, these wicked um, bailiffs, judges, cops, you know, entrepreneurs, and to the people, every last one of them. Just like it's no different than Sodom and Gomorrah. But it's worse than Sodom and Gomorrah because the Bible says that he's going to destroy the world with fire. Understand? So, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. Uh, you know, they don't like heterosexual marriages kissing. You know why? Because they say it's an abomination to them. See, the Bible says in um, Proverbs 27, 29, 29 27. Just man is at the bottom of to the just. And he that is upright is and, and, and right in his way is 
an abominable to the wicked. Which means that it's a clean thing that a man is supposed to be with a woman and holding each other, cuddling and kissing. It's an abominable to them. But guess what? To those kissing and uh, to women kissing and then hugging and all of that. It's abominable to me and my wife. Understand? Yes, I said it. Understand? And say, um, this right here got to stop. You got so many men are being a feminized man wearing dresses and get men to wear dresses and then they used to athletes, understand? Black athletes, not just black athletes, whites and all that stuff to the tub, you know, thinking it is okay to be a, to, to be a feminine and wear a dress. And I'ma say this, I'ma say this again. I would never ever in my life wear a dress because ain't no man supposed to be wearing no freaking dress. And I'll shed it, and I'ma shed it, I'm shed it, I'll shed it. The Bible says, Righteous are as bold as a lion, understand? So, since what the uh, City Hall is doing, they is definitely in trouble with God right now. See, they the coward down and bow down like to them. Uh, Marty, they go to the image of the I said, you got three men stood. They stood, understand? Mayor Red Shed making the video well, refused to bow down to the golden image. Why? The vast majority have, understand? Now, see, the vast majority of the people has bought out to the LGBT community. That's right, I said it. The LGBT community. And I am not LGBT friendly. But I don't hate them. If they want out, they can get minister to it. Understand? But they probably is they, you know, they say, well, you gotta love. When you love somebody, you don't affirm it in a sin. See, Jesus doesn't affirm sinners in a sin. When Jesus says, I come not before the righteous, but the sinners to repentance, he means that he comes to the not he comes to the sinners to repentance and try to help them out of there, understand? He don't affirm them in a sin, understand? Just like they they gonna try to accuse me of being hateful because I tell the Lord, you don't need to be living that way, understand? You know, it's out of love, it's not out of hate, understand? They the ones being hateful, they the ones being being a hypocrite, they the ones being biased. You know, they want them to accept their ways, but they, they ain't going to accept our ways. Who's the hypocrite? They are the hypocrites, understand? So that's exactly what I mean where this LGBT movement is getting out of hand. And Christ will come and, 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 and um, destroy this wicked world. That's right. That's right. This wicked world. And the people in it that rebelled against a holy God. So... And, and see, this is sad, man. This is a sad thing, man. But all you got to do is just continue to preach the gospel, continue to stand for God's truth and whatnot. No matter what the wicked uh, uh, City Hall and everybody else doing, wicked Joe Biden and the administration and those that's going for the LGBT movement, real true Christians would not go for that. You know, man, these, sick, these fake churches and for that, these fake pastors, these fake businesses, these women's non-pastors is for that you know they're gonna answer to a holy God too that's real straight up so you know it is not normal for a man to wear a dress wear eye glitter eye figure, figure nails and, and women's shoes and women's dresses and you don't need to be in the women's bathroom and I, I I don't care I do not I do I do not care you know what I'm saying I don't care you know Got already you got some just acting a fool, understand? Yeah, you misgendering me. You better apologize too, because you misgendering me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't about to do nothing. You are who you are. If you want to be a woman, act like a woman in your mind, that's your business. But if you go sit up here and get me to co-sign that lie and to approve that lie and to confirm that lie. It's not going to happen because you are who you was born with. I don't care if you had 20 billion surgeries. You are who you are when you was born with a man. I don't care if you uh, get, get your genitals cut off. Or I don't care if a woman get her breasts cut off and want to be um, something that she's not. Understand? She always going to be a woman. You know, it's a, you know, Satan is confusing their mind. You know, it ain't them for say it's Satan. Satan's gonna pay for that. He is gonna definitely pay for 
that's because he hates mankind. He hates masculinity. That's the reason why he's doing everything in his power to effeminize these dudes out here, understand? And what the Bible says, it says no effeminate dude will end up in heaven unless he repent and turn from his sins. Just as well as fornicators, just as well as adulterers, just as well as idolaters, just as well as drunkards, winners, you know, all sin is sin. But however, sin is worse. And that is homosexuality, transgenders, and LGBT, and all of that stuff. Again, I ain't trying to be mean, but you, they're pushing it down our throats. You know, and it's going to be, it's going to be sick. Because that is an abomination to a holy God. Understand? So, yeah. I don't care what they, I don't care what people say, man. For real. You know what I'm saying? I got to stand up for truth. I'm going to stand up for God's word. I'm going to continue to stand up for God's word. Boldly, you understand? And again, I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to be funny or mean in any, anything in that matter, man. That wicked city hall would answer to a holy guy. But guess what? I can expect it from a lost city hall. They lost. They can do it. They lost. But what I have a problem with, these fake Christians should know better to be going along with this, man. These fake bishops, these fake pastors is going to answer to a holy God. Because they should know better to be going along with this wickedness. I'm going along with this LGBT stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, ain't no such thing as no LGBT. It's made up by Satan, the devil, the liar, the accuser, the slanderer. Yeah. So, the Bible makes, is only two sexes. You know what it is? One man, one woman, and one lifetime. There's no non-binary, nor them, they, nor by, nor, nor, um, you know, and, uh, you know, all of this foolishness. You know, you got okay, sorry, lesbian, bisexual, you know. Albert Transgender, Uncle Al, you know, Down and all of that Uncle stuff, Al, right? Who sold raffle chances up and down and, uh, and you got plus. Kentucky, this is sickness Uncle and Al, wicked as it can be. So, the Bible says, continue to Christ. preach the word in season, not in season. Now it's at the time that they will not endure sound doctrine like right now. They want to hear they want to hear hear their ears tickle. Second Timothy chapter four. Understand? You know, this uh lesbian gay bisexual transgender crap, understand. You know, you got a new name. Gross belligerent transgenders. Understand? Loose, gross. Belligerent transgressions. That's what they are. That's what the real LGBT means. That's right. So, yeah, I said it. I said it. I said it. You know, somebody got to say something, man. The Bible says, He that is spiritual judges all things, man. You got to act like it, man. See, great is he that's here, be that he is in a world. First John 4, verse 4. Understand? So I'm gonna act like it, understand? Until they do something to me, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak up against this wickedness. Understand? So other than that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to take a stand. Alright, so uh, for real. I'm blessed. So for real. 